Hi, in previous lecture I discussed quicksort. Let's discuss performance of quicksort. Performance of quicksort depends on the input. The running time of quicksort depends on whether the partitioning is balanced or unbalanced which in turn depends on which element are used for partitioning. Means what are the input according to input we will do the partitioning. If the partitioning is balanced then that is our best case. If it is unbalanced that is our worst case. If the partitioning is balanced the algorithm run as critical as first as more sort. Means running time will be theta of n log n. If it is unbalanced, it can run asymptotically as slow as insertion sort, means theta of n square. Insertion sort best case is theta of n, while worst case is theta of n square. If it is unbalanced, it is same as worst case of insertion sort, means theta of n square. It is balanced, it is same as best case of more sort, that is theta of n log n. Let's discuss best case partitioning. Best case partitioning means if we are doing partitioning at the medial that is called as best case. So one size will be n divide 2 and another size will be n divide 2 minus 1. So the recurrence relation can be t of n equals to 2t n divide 2 plus theta of n. Theta of n is for partitioning. And this is true for n greater than 1, t of 1 equals to 0. We got the recurrence relation. If we will apply master theorem according to case 2, we will get the running time theta of n log n base 2. And this is our best case running time. Let's discuss worst case partitioning. If one array is already sorted and we are applying quick sort, then that is our worst case. In the worst case, all the split can be skewed to the extreme. Means one side there will be zero element and another side there will be n minus one element. Means will split at first position either or at last position. Suppose the array is already sorted. We have the input a increasing array index a0 to n minus one. It is a strictly increasing array. If we use a of 0 means first element as the pivot, after being left to right scan, it will stop at a of 1 as a of 1 value is greater than a of 0 and the right to left scan that will reach at a of 0 and stop at a of 0 and we will do split at position a of 0 like this. So i will stop here while j will stop here and this is our pivot. So pivot will exchange with a of 0. Means a of 0 will be its own position. Next time again we will do quick sort of this. a of 1 to a of n minus 1. So after doing n plus 1 comparison, just a of 0 swapped with a of 0. So after taking n plus 1 comparisons to get the partition and exchange the pivot a of 0 with itself. The algorithm will left with strictly increasing array a of 1 to n minus 1. So next time we will do a of 1 to n minus 1. Next time we will do a of 2 to a of n minus 1. Next time we will do a of 3 to a of n minus 1. Like this it will continue. And when we will stop, when there are just two elements. a of n minus 2 to a of n minus 1. Last two element then we will stop. So how many comparison we are doing? First time we are doing n plus 1 comparison. Next time we will do n comparison like this. Lastly we will do 3 comparison. So C host n will be n plus 1 plus n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 up to 3. We know 1 plus 2 up to n plus 1. That we can write as n plus 1 multiplication n plus 2 divide 2. But here addition started from 3. So what we can do? We can subtract 3 from this result. So we got n plus 1 multiplication n plus 2 divide 2 minus 3. It is approximately theta of n square. So worst case running time is theta of n square 
for already sorted array whether it is increasing or decreasing. So what will be recurrence relation for this? T of n equals to T of n minus 1 plus T of 0. T of n minus 1 for this and T of 0 here 0 element as we are doing partitioning at A of 0. Next time we will do at A of 1 plus theta of n. Theta of n is for partitioning. T of 0 take constant time. So we will get T of n minus 1 plus theta of n for n greater than 1 and T of 0 equals to theta of n or you can say some constant. Now if we we'll solve this recurrence relation we will get running time as theta of n square. So this is our worst case running time theta of n square and this is for strictly increasing and decreasing array. Therefore, we can say the worst case running time of quick sort is no better than insertion sort. Insertion sort worst case running time is theta of n square. Quick sort worst case running time is also theta of n square. So the theta of n square running time occurs when the input array is already sorted. While in case of insertion sort, it is the best case. In insertion sort, it will take running time theta of n. As if R is already sorted, that is the best case for insertion sort, while that is the worst case for quick sort. Let's discuss average case partitioning. Assume that partition split can happen in each position S with the same probability 1 divide n. We get following recurrence relation C average n equals to 1 divide n, summation S equals to 0 to n minus 1 then n plus 1 plus c average s plus c average n minus 1 minus s for n greater than 1. So c average 0 equals to 0 means for average case number of comparison for 0 element equals to 0 for 1 element equals to 0. Now if we we'll solve this we will get solution as 1.39 n log n base 2. In best case it is n log n base 2 here 1.39 n log n base 2 so you can say on average quicksort make only 39 percent more comparison than the best case here also running time will be theta of n log n as 1.39 that we can skip so running time will be theta of n log n base 2 but you can say average case take more comparison than best case. So running time of quick shot in best case and average case are theta of n log n and for worst case it is theta of n square. This is for worst case and theta of n log n are for best case and average case. So there are some better power selection method like randomized quick shot that use a random element or median of three method that uses the median of the leftmost, rightmost and middle element of the array. So there are different way of choosing pivot. We can choose first element as pivot, we can choose random element as pivot, we can choose median of three as a pivot, we can choose last element as pivot. So this is all about performance of quick sort. Its best case average case running time are theta of n log n while worst case running time is theta of n square. Quicksort also have some weakness like it is not stable while Mersat is a stable algorithm. Suppose this is an array you can see there are two three there are repeated element three two times three is present and after setting this three may come first this three may come last. But in case of more set, first three will come first, second three will come second. This is not stable, that's why same element, repeated element may switch. Also, it requires a stack to store parameter of the server that will be sorted, that yet to be sorted. And the size of this stack can be made to be order of log n by always sorting first the smaller of the two subarray obtained by the partitioning. It is worse than order of one space efficiency of heap sort. 
In case of heap sort, space efficiency is order of 1, while in case of quick sort, space efficiency is order of log n, which is higher than heap sort. In today's lecture, I discussed performance of quick sort. There, I discussed analysis of best case, worst case, and average case. Also, I discussed running time for best case and average case. It is theta of n log n, while for worst case, it is theta of n square. In next lecture, I will solve some question based on quick sort. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.